everyone. Welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. I have been living a keto lifestyle now for almost a year and a half. And yesterday was our one year anniversary from when I started this YouTube channel one year ago. And it was a great day yesterday. I just want to thank every one of you who have left me great comments here on YouTube and over in our Facebook group, Low Carb Revelation. Just all the kind words, everyone congratulating us and wishing us a happy anniversary on our one year. And it was a great day yesterday. So thank you all very much. Today is March 16th. It is the 16th day of our fitness challenge. And this month has been all about getting moving, getting up and just doing some sort of exercise, whether it's walking or uh, doing exercises in your living room or whatever you can do at your level. We're just getting up and getting moving, getting more active, getting excited about spring and summer coming. So as I said, yesterday was a great day. My husband and I went out to a delicious Middle Eastern restaurant. I filmed yesterday what we ate over there and it was great food, great time. Just reminiscing back when I first started this YouTube channel, had no idea that it would grow the way it has grown. I've been talking about getting some new furniture here in the living room, and my husband said, let's go over to the furniture store and look around. I don't know about you all, but anytime we say we're gonna go somewhere and just look, we always end up buying something every single time. And we even say it before we go, we're gonna just look, but we're probably gonna end up buying something. And so we celebrated by going out to eat and going and buying some new furniture for the living room. We ordered a love seat. It won't be here for a few weeks. So our living room here in this house is a very small living room and we are trying to get it to where we have less or smaller furniture in this room. A couch and love seat in here right now. This is going down in our basement. We have a family room down in the basement where the kids go and play when they come over. So we ended up ordering a love seat. It won't be here for a few weeks. And then we uh, ended up picking up on in the clearance section. Um, we ended up finding two accent chairs. We got a really great deal on these accent chairs. For those of you who love to save money, I'll share this with you real quick. We were walking around in the clearance section of the furniture store trying to find some accent chairs that go with the love seat that we had picked out that we were that we knew we were going to purchase. My husband spotted this one chair and he said that chair is only $198 and I'm like, "No way is that chair $198." All of the chairs in the clearance section were over $300. We went over there and sure enough, it was $198 marked down from $500. So Ed was laughing at me. I took the cushion off of the chair and walked over to the other side of the furniture store with this cushion because I wanted to put it next to the couch to make sure that it matched the color and it matched. And we called the sales lady over and we told her that we wanted the love seat. We wanted two of the accent chairs. And she said, I don't think we have two of those accent chairs. I think there's only one left. That's our clearance section and whatever's out on the floor, that's what's there. She said, but we can go check. So we were walking back there and on the way back there, I saw the same chair sitting in another area of the clearance room. And I said, here's another one. And she said, oh, okay, then we have two. But that one was marked for $319 on clearance. And so she looked at the tags, she took the tags off the chairs, went over to the manager, and she said, I'm not sure. She said, we will have to give you this chair for this price for the 198, but she said, I'm not sure that the manager is going to mark the other chair down that cheap because we that's that price is wrong. That is too much of a percentage off of the total price. And she said, that's actually the price that us employees would get if we purchased it. And so she went and asked the manager and the manager said yes. So she ended up giving us both chairs for $198 and they are super cute. We had to bring them home yesterday. They wrapped them up in saran wrap for us. Well, they're still wrapped up in a spare room right now until my boys can come over and help my husband move the couch down to the basement. It was such a great deal that I got two accent chairs for the price of one chair when it wasn't on sale. So it was really great. So it was just a great day celebrating and a great way to celebrate. So today I am getting ready to go out for my walk. If you have not done any kind of exercise today, I just wanna encourage you to get up and move around. If you're not used to exercising, if you can't move very much, 
uh, I had, I've had a few people say that they do chair exercises to some YouTube videos. There's so many things you can do. I just want to encourage you to do what you can do at your level and just do something today and you will feel better. And so I've already had a cup of black coffee today. I'm working on my electrolytes as usual. I will be showing you what I eat throughout the day today on a ketogenic diet under 20 total carbs, not net carbs. So I will see you in just a little bit. So I just got back from Meyer. I have a grocery haul for you. The reason I like to do grocery hauls is it gives people who are new to keto ideas on what they can buy when they go to the grocery store. The items that I have here are basic items that you can get pretty much any grocery store. I went to get some yogurt and some cheese and some eggs and some bacon and they ended up having a sale on meat and they had some reduced price meats. If I am going to cook the meat within a couple of days, I will get the clearanced meat and put it in the refrigerator. And I bought some ribeyes today that were clearanced and marked down with the red sticker and uh, we're gonna have those tonight. So I'm just gonna show you what I got I Got today. some romaine lettuce, some ready to eat celery, little pack of mini cucumbers, I got these mushrooms today. I thought that we could throw them on the grill, $1.70. Um, they were half off. I thought that we could throw them on the grill with some onions tonight with our steak. And let's see here, I got an eggplant. There is something I wanna try with this. I may let you know in a future video what I'm doing with that. And I have a jalapeno pepper and two packs of garlic. And I have a head of cabbage here and some broccoli that's already pre-cut. I like to buy it like this when I can get it because it's already ready for the broccoli salad that I make. So it makes it a lot more convenient. I got a couple of peppers. Their bell peppers were on sale today. And I got some coleslaw. I am getting ready to make my egg roll in a bowl. That is gonna be my first meal today. I've been craving it. And so I bought the coleslaw so that I could make that. Got some blackberries, two packs of blackberries. Got some strawberries. These look really nice and red. And I got some salsa. This is the cantina style mild salsa and some grilling cheese. This is really good in the little mini chaffle irons. You can just cut this into little squares and put it in the chaffle iron and have that for a nice little treat. You can also pan fry it on the stove. And Tillamook cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar. And more cheese over here in the back. I got Colby Jack finely shredded cheese. And three packs of bacon. Two dozen eggs. And oops, losing stuff off the counter here. And I got some red tag clearanced ham, bone off the ham for Ed to make a couple of sandwiches for his lunch with. And these are really good hot dogs. They're natural uncured, uncured beef hot dogs, 100% grass fed. I like these with my chili and have, um, have them like chili dogs. And I got this Polish kielbasa. This is Meyer brand. And in the store at Meyer, I have read all of the labels and I like this one because this one seems to have the least amount of ingredients in it and they're a little bit better ingredients than some of the other sausages. You have to watch on your packaged meats, uh, read the labels because sometimes there is added corn syrup, added sugar, uh, molasses, that type of thing. So make sure you read the labels. And I got some butter. This is a new kind of butter. I haven't tried this brand before. It was the same price as the Meyer brand butter. And so I thought I would try it. It is sea salted Danish creamery butter. Four sticks in there. I got some Fairlife milk. I like this milk frothed up in my coffee sometimes. And my grandkids also like to drink this milk when they are over. And I got some sour cream. We buy the full fat. And in the back here, I got some Too Good yogurt, two different kinds, strawberry and lemon. And I got this vanilla for me. I like vanilla and this is a good option, just buying it in a big container like this and then I can measure out the um, amount that I want and eat it that way. I like the Too Good because it has uh, stevia. It's sweetened with stevia. The Keto Ratio yogurts, they're so good, but they have sucralose in them and I'm trying to stay away from those 
more artificial ingredients. And there, I got some heavy whipping cream back here in the back. Here is my pile of meat. I got um, two ribeyes. Look at these nice fatty ribeyes. And those were, those were red tagged. And I got two T-bones. And that was a pretty good price, $8.87. These are pretty good sized steaks too. They got a lot of fat on them. This ground beef here is 80-20. It's not grass fed. It's just regular ground beef. That's okay with me. This is this was um, buy one package, get one half off. So I got the bigger two pound. These are just over two pounds each. So I'm just gonna divide these up and put them into freezer bags and I got this. I'm going to try this. I've never really had this before. This is boneless ribeye pork chops and they were $5.95 for this mini and I just thought that they would be really good marinated and put, um, I could grill them on our griddle and see how they come out or I could even put them in my Z-Star. So I just thought I would get those. They look a little fattier than the uh, boneless pork chops. So I thought that I would try these. And then these were a really good deal. I want you to look at the price. This is the final price. This is not per pound. This was $1.49 per pound on sale. $4.96 for this big pack of, um, this is the St. Louis style uh, spare ribs. I got three packs. This one was $5.27. And this one was $4.34. I'm just going to throw these in the freezer. And this is a great deal. Ed and I can share one of these and we can have a meal for five bucks. That is my haul for today. I'm going to get this stuff put in the refrigerator and in the freezer. And I'll be back in just a little bit to show you what I'm having for my first meal. I already gave it away. I'm making egg roll in a bowl, um, but I'll show you anyways. So I'll see you then. I have made it to almost one o'clock before I ate my first meal. Um, I am trying to bring my eating window a little bit smaller. So I'm trying to hold out as long as I can in the day. I usually eat around 11. I'm trying to push it to 12 now, just to make my eating window a little bit smaller, have a longer fasting time. But I hear I have almost made it to one o'clock. So I am having my egg roll in a bowl. This is one of my favorite meals. It's so easy to make. I have the recipe right over on my website. And so I'm gonna be having this and I am gonna be having an iced coffee. This is stock coffee that I got from Aldi. It's unsweetened and I just put in some heavy cream. I'm gonna go ahead and go eat. I'll see you in a little bit. Just got an order from Amazon for porking good pork rinds and I ordered three different kinds. I ordered the French onion because I love this one. It tastes so good. The ingredients on the porking good pork rinds are really good, clean ingredients. I also got some white cheddar and I just tried for the first time the ranch and these are delicious. These are so good. I don't have a discount code for porking good, but I will put the link down below for these pork rinds. They're really light and crunchy and the ranch is so good. Just wanted to let you know. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to take Caesar dressing recipe and kick this salad up a notch. It's gonna be really good. This is a great way to dress this salad. My Z-Star air grill is going in the background. If you hear that roaring, no roaring noise, I have a steak in there. My husband has to work late and so I'm just putting my steak in the air grill right now and getting it going so that I can um, eat before six o'clock. So I have my bowl here. This is a wooden bowl. This really only works with a wooden bowl. So you need to have a wooden bowl if you wanna do this. I have one garlic clove here and I'm going to mash it open. I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil in here, just a little bit and a little bit of salt. I'm using Redmond's. And it's just gonna be like, the salt is gonna add some flavor, but it's also gonna be like an abrasive to the garlic. And so I'm gonna take the garlic and I'm just going to rub it into the oil and salt. 
and into the sides of the bowl. And what this does, the bowl is porous because it's wood and the flavors of the garlic is going to get absorbed into the wood. And then when I put my salad in here to mix it and put the dressing on it, it's gonna be delicious. So just get that real good and coated. All right, now I'm just gonna chop the rest of this garlic up with a knife because I don't wanna waste it. I'm gonna throw it right in here because I think it's gonna be delicious. Okay, now I normally would take a whole heart, hold on, I gotta flip my steak. would take a whole heart of romaine and make all of this. This is one whole head of romaine lettuce. But since Ed is going to be here later, I don't want to mix his up yet. I don't want his to get soggy. So I'm going to put half of this lettuce into this bowl or whatever amount that I think that I'm going to eat for um, the salad. And I'm going to open my dressing here and there's the dressing it's so good and I'm just gonna put I don't know maybe a tablespoon or so just gonna eyeball about how much lettuce that I, I mean uh, dressing that I want to put in there this is my old pampered chef cheese grater I have some Parmesan cheese in here and I'm just going to grade that into this as well and this is going to be fantastic. I cannot wait to eat this. The little bit of garlic and oil and salt flavoring the bowl makes it delicious. And so I'm going to take my little tossers here. I'm just going to toss this around with the dressing and make sure that I get some of that olive oil and garlic and salt on the salad as well <laughs> and I can't wait to eat this little bit of salad with my steak. I'm going to top it with a little bit more Parmesan cheese and get it served up on my plate and when my steak's done I'll show you what it looks like. So I made the ribeye that I found today at Meyer with the red sticker, the clearance sticker and it looks delicious. I made it in my Z-Star. I like my steak medium. My Z-Star air grill, I usually put it for about 13 minutes, depending on how thick or thin the steak is. The steak is actually um, not so thick. I think it's probably about three quarters of an inch thick. And this is the salad. I'm gonna go ahead and try some of this salad. Mm. It's so good when you take the garlic and grind it into the bowl and you put that little bit of oil and that little bit of salt, you can really taste the flavors. It tastes so much better. Not that the dressing needed to be improved because it's a really good dressing recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. This is a lot of food. So I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna be having anything else after this tonight. I have a just a plain carbonated water from Aldi no flavored, no flavors today. And I'm maybe drinking that. And then I'm probably just gonna have either a cup of tea or a cup of coffee tonight. And that's gonna be it. Like I said, I'm trying to shorten my fasting window. So I'm going to be done eating by six o'clock. It's 522 right now. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video for tonight. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Give me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel grow. Thank you for all that you do out there, you guys commenting on my videos and giving me those thumbs up. It really helps out so much. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day and God bless.